So I have many regrets in my over 40 years of my life and um, one of the thing is to not buy the Air Jordan 11 Space Jam model. I think that's one of the best looking yet and best colored uh, trainer of all time. And because I can't get it, I was actually trying to get something that is similar that can compensate my heart, eagerness of my heart. And as you can see, about eight years ago, I bought the Jordan Future, which is a very similar design to the um, Air Jordan 11. And apologies for those perfectly clean shoes clean out there, but this is quite worn out because I was literally wearing it every day. As you can see, uh, it's a beautiful trainer there. Now, um, I was getting a lot of compliments for that, but also I managed to get an alternative Jordan 11 uh, Air Jordan model, which is the retro red as you can see but this one I just don't like the color it just stands out too much as you can see it's just red and I, I was getting a lot of looks from the people out there and I wore this probably about four or five times um, and I bought it about three or four years ago at least and um, I still love um, watching it but anyhow I think this is probably one of those things that a gesture of trying to move on from the um, Air Jordan 11 Space Jam. So this uh, Air Jordan 36 reminds me of a uh, LaFerrari kind of model, very aerodynamic kind of look and the color it was beautiful and so on. But one of the things about Air Jordan is the fact that if you miss the chance to buy it to get the original uh, it's so difficult so I just thought it would be a perfect time to buy one and I don't think anyone actually reviewed it in a real sort of physical form other than those people just posting picture and some music background and so on on YouTube. So I love the fact that it says move to zero. So they're actually saying that this package is very much of an environmental sustainability friendly kind of package. And I'm not really a fan of that because I like to keep the original box, but it encourages you to throw away. Also, they're saying that we're planting 1 million trees. So yeah, so good gesture there anyway. So if we were to, Open that up. Um, is there going to be any? Ah, okay. So there is the original Air Jordan boxing. So that's good. That's really good start. Um, unfortunately, uh, yeah. Okay. So this is the UK size of nine. Yep. Good. I was worried that it's going to be size um, ten, but that's the right size. And we got this really nice. Uh, texting here, but it's an Air Jordan symbol there. So that's very nice. On top, Air Zoom, a new text, sort of like uh, one of those LED sort of flashy kind of uh, effects, should we say. So if we were to open it up, ah, voila. We got the rather beautiful Air Jordan 36. Uh, that's so beautiful. And the package is so light and um, <laughs> Just, I mean, it's uh, one of those beautiful pieces that uh, you really appreciate. And um, yeah, I mean, comparing to the Air Jordan 11 Retro, I don't know whether you can see the comparison there. So this is the 36 and that's the um, 11 Red. So which one do you prefer? I mean, what can I say? It's one beautiful uh, piece and also the mesh is very looks quite settled but I don't know how long you can endure it uh, inside it there's this sort of like a um, you know the card that actually protects this shape I can see that easily it will be shrunk down during the many use so I'm not sure whether I'm going to wear it the thing I wasn't really convinced is this bottom side of this joint here I actually prefer that this um, joint should we say is not there so that it could actually you know move it it will be more sort of flexible but i'm sure there's a good reason behind it um, i like the zoom air sort of gap on the bottom and also on that hole this hole in the middle as well it's quite nice and you can see that there's this jordan symbol 3d that sticks out in between the black joint here uh, the, the lace is also beautiful. It's like a mixture of blue and black, which is one of my favorite combination um, on the actual tongue. It says Jordan and then in the middle there's air. Um, just everything is just 
perfectly designed. I just love the fact that the whole theme is that the white is actually on the bottom and the black is more sort of not showing. It's not really that sort of a clear thing uh, that is on the top and also on the bottom. So it looks like really aerodynamic kind of feel. I also love this blue sort of a mesh kind of effect. The main reason I bought it is the blue color that is a mixture of white and a black. It's just one of those things I'm really into. It reminds me of my favorite football team as well, Inter Milan. So this will go very well with the Inter Milan jersey. I don't know why it actually has the Metaverse kind of infinite sort of logo there. I don't know what that means. Someone could actually please explain to me that. That will be good. Um, and that's all good actually. Within that hole, uh, what I actually mentioned about in the middle, there's this 36 and that's also a really classy thing. And also in the back side, we got this sponge. If you actually take it out, there's the um, circular sort of um, symbol. I don't know what that means. But on the top, we got the Jordan with the blue edging as well. And those, that's all beautifully done. I'm just really excited about it. So let's actually try it on. Yeah, a lot of cushion, very rigid very surprisingly, despite all the holes in here because of the mesh. I don't know what sort of material they're made out of, but when you're trying to do this sort of gesture of shooting, a lot of cushion in the back and on the front as well, the zoom air, especially I got a slightly wider uh, feet comparing to the average people. And you can really feel that cushion of the zoom air in the front as well. And that is, is probably one of the most lightweight feel yet rigid and solid and a lot of cushioning and it's every aspect of it I just I'm loving it more I use it and also you know it kind of looks again what I said was um, aerodynamic as well so it kind of reminds me of Air Max as well and somehow so I think that's going to go well with my jeans right so I'm actually wearing rather slightly tight jeans and I have to say the color combination goes really well um, and um, yeah, I didn't really expect that, but because of the sort of pointy uh, front uh, for me of the fashion sort of um, design that I'm after for what I wear for casual use, um, I think it really goes well, don't you think? I mean, it's those um, aerodynamic um, Air Jordan 36 with the blue stripes on it and the black combination. So it's not too white. Otherwise, if it's too white, it looks kind of bulky, even though it's not in real life. But one of the things that I'm actually slightly concerned about in the long-term use is you can see if you do this, I know a lot of, a lot of you are gonna get a bit of a cringe when I do this, but you can see a bit of a crease easily gathering on the front side. And a lot of people will do that when they walk, um, when they bend down and trying to pick up stuff here. You can see a lot of crease there. But other than that, I mean, what do you think? I mean, this is probably one of the number one priority that I look at before I actually buy any. Uh, practical casual wear um, basketball shoes but I have to say this is really a nice pick so there you have it folks this is the Air Jordan 36 a uh, very amateurish review and I'm not trying to challenge any of the gifted uh, basketball trainers or any trainers uh, reviewer out there I just want to celebrate uh, my new purchase and trying to move on from the Air Jordan 11 Space Jam if you see what I mean and um, yeah the overall design is beautiful I can see that already crease is gathering from my um, quick testing here and there with the cushioning but I mean that's the way how it goes uh, regards to the question of whether I'm gonna wear it in real life we shall see but I'll try to, you know, keep it uh, as brand new condition as possible. But if I have the urge to wear it, well, we'll just wear it and then we'll buy the next one. We'll see. But anyhow, I'm really glad that I didn't miss the time of buying this as a brand new product. Um, who knows if I could keep this in about 10 years time, this might be a valuable asset for one of those things I tend to keep in my treasure box. But um, overall, um, I just thought that it would be quite nice to actually look into the point of view of how well it looks when you're trying to wear it casually. I want to actually see all these YouTubers actually reviewing any trainers. I really hope they can emphasize how it looks with you know, wearing it casually, not in the, only in the case of playing basketball, but also wearing jeans or any of those trousers and so on. Because I think that for me, a guy like me, I always look into that as one, number one principles, if you see what I mean, because you won't play basketball all the time. You know, but 
For this one, because of the pointy front, it goes really well with your jeans, especially with the blue one, I would say. Maybe the red one will, because if you wear some red top or so on, obviously I'm not a fashion expert, but um, for me, this will go really, really well. So I'm glad I made a purchase. I also want to look back on this video to see how well it looked like when I bought it in brand new. So it's a bit of a memorial kind of memoir that I just want to keep. Anyhow, I hope this video sort of gave you an idea of how it looks in real life. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.